What's up everyone, hope you're having a great day and welcome back to my channel, Just Preface. Today's video is a fun one. We're going to be exploring the idea of what it would be like if the characters from One Piece participated in the Apex Games. Yes, bro watches anime. So does the two-time UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya. Anime is cool, anime is art, there's nothing weird about watching anime. Now, I know this may seem like a strange combination, but trust me, this video is going to be a lot of fun. If you're not caught up to One Piece yet, don't worry. I'll keep this as spoiler-free as possible, so don't worry and enjoy. So, let's start off with Luffy, the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. With his rubber powers, he'd definitely be a force to be reckoned with in the game. But for the sake of balance, let's not include the Gear 5 version of Luffy. It's not even aired yet in the anime. But I know this form is not a joke, it's really OP from what I've heard. In fact, let's just take Bear's Luffy, no gears but with Haki. I guess he'd be able to quickly dodge enemy attacks with the Haki cause we know his observation Haki is on par with Katakuri's, or maybe even better. So anytime he's about to get shot, Luffy will get a voice warning similar to Raid's passive ability. Luffy will also be able to move around the map with ease just by stretching and propelling himself and assuming his Gatling gun ability to be his ultimate, he'd be able to take out multiple enemies at once cause it's an area of effects attack. Yeah, we're not using gears but to my mind Luffy is already overpowered. He's a rubber man so bullets don't affect him, neither do us on fences. Luffy will just have to be like a limited pick, like you only get to pick Luffy once every 24 hours. And he'd also have to be disabled and ranked. Because imagine having to deal with Luffy's every single game of your ranked games. Will actually lose brain cells. Nami, the navigator and thief of the Straw Hearts, will definitely be a recon character because of her exceptional map reading skills. And this will allow them to navigate safely through the map. You won't get lost with the Nami. Additionally, with her expertise in the weather manipulation, I think her abilities could be like creating storms and other weather effects to disrupt her enemies so she'd just be as annoying as the bungalow smokes. Next up we have Usopp, the sniper of the Straw Hat Pirates. For Usopp, let's take his Dressrosa version. In the Apex games, he'd be the perfect fit for playing with sniper rifles, just like Vantage. I mean, Usopp is a close friend of Soge King as you all know and Soge King is from Sniper Island, so it only makes sense if Usopp uses snipers. With his incredible accuracy and range, he'd be able to pick off enemies from a distance and provide cover for his team. Moving on to Sanji, the chef of the Straw Hat Pirates, and for him, we'll be considering his post-time skip form before the whole Cake Island and the Jerma Saga. Sanji will be a great support character, providing his team with food and health items cause he's the head cook of the Straw Hats, and with his powerful kick he could quickly take out enemies in close combat, though with Sanji, I don't think he'd be as strong in Apex as in the anime cause he refuses to use his hands in combat, yet you have to hold a gun to shoot in the Apex games. And he also refuses to hit women, which is a nice principle, and they even implemented it in the Jump Force game. Sanji will be helpless in that game if you picked a woman as his opponent. The female cast in Apex is huge, so I don't see how he'd get by. And now let's talk about Zoro. He's my favorite straw hat, but I'll try my best not to be biased. While Zoro may be known for his swordsmanship, he also has great durability and he's one of the top tier Haki users, so in the Apex games, I think he'd be a great fit for playing as a tank character with his incredible strength and durability of course. He'd be able to take a lot of damage and provide cover for his team and with his swords he'd quite easily take out his enemies in close combat. Zoro also isn't afraid to kill and we've seen him go berserk a couple of times in the anime so he'd really really enjoy the Apex games. Moving on to one of the fandom's favorites, we have the lovable reindeer Chopper, the doctor of the Straw Hat Pirates. He'd be a great fit for playing as a combat medic similar to Lifeline. And maybe then we wouldn't have to complain about Lifeline being the only healer in Apex. Respawn, if you're watching this, please take notes. With Chopper's medical knowledge and Rumble Ball abilities, he'd heal his teammates and provide support in the heat of battle. Next up we have Jimbe, the former warlord and current member of the Straw Hat Pirates. In the Apex games, Jimbe will be the perfect fit for playing as a tank character. With his Fishman Karate, he could deal a lot of damage and take a lot of damage for his team. Gibby Mains will really love Jimbe because he's very huge and 
He's one of the first draw hats to use full body hockey armament as we saw in his fight with who's who in Wano. And Brooke is the next character we're talking about, the musician and swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. Brooke's role in Apex will be to play as the stealth character just as he did in the Hulk Island hack and he did it to perfection. That guy stole that hack. And he's very lightweight, his body doesn't have any flesh or organs so he runs really really fast even walks on water because of that so I think he's faster than Octane he'd be the fastest at Apex and he also can store objects in his head so I guess he'd have a bigger capacity to carry weapons and without a doubt Brooke and Mirage will be really close friends because Brooke loves to make skeleton jokes just as Mirage loves making bamboozle jokes my funniest Brooke moment was when he asked Big Mom an Emperor of the Sea if he could see her panties <laughs> I cried laughing when I watched that scene don't worry, I've not forgotten your favorite waifu. Up next is Nico Robin, the archaeologist of the Straw Hearts. She'd be a great fit for playing as a Recon character, and with her devil foot powers, she'd create extra arms and hands to manipulate her environment and surprise her enemies. And she could also use her knowledge and intellect to provide her team with useful information about the map, like enemy locations, good escape routes, and possible rat spots. Frankie, the cyborg, she pride of the Straw Hat Pirates, would be a perfect fit for playing as an assault character. He has really powerful weapons and body modifications, and he could deal a lot of damage to the enemy teams. Additionally, his ability to transform into different forms could provide him with a variety of attack options and strategies, and his ultimate, I think, would be him summoning General Frankie. This thing would be so strong, <laughs> strong enough to even fight a titan. Overall, adding Nico Robin and Frankie to the mix will definitely make a formidable duo in the Apex games. There you have it guys, a fun little idea about what it would be like if the One Piece characters participated in the Apex games. Thank you for making it to the end, I hope you enjoyed this video cause I really enjoyed making it and if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to gently press the like button. If you've not watched One Piece and made it here, comment the reason why I exactly haven't started this pick anime and I'll give you a counter reason on why you should start watching it ASAP. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Ciao.